Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the OpenThing client software manager system. Um, all you have to do is head over to the website here, just go in the top address bar, just type in the IP address of your server, and then go to port 8080. Once you do that, you just click on the nice big start manager button, hit OK to the web launch. So you can see it's loading, and there we go. Um, when you first connect, you will have to initialize it, but it's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, hint, the password by default is secret. Okay, so now that we got the thing client manager all set up, now we want to add some clients to this thing. So if you click here, right on here, the open thing client, bring the menu up, and then right here, PXC clients. Now, right now, the list is completely empty. So we're going to add a couple, we're going to add, add a server on here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use Sun VirtualBox and start up a bat a PXE booting, P PXB, PXE booting system. Ah. Anyway, so right now you can see it's trying to boot, but it's not getting anything. But if we head back to here, and we hit refresh, hey, there's a system right there. Okay, so all you have to do is, okay, give it a name. So I'm going to call it my virtual machine. If you're wondering, I was trying this earlier, and I'm not sure how I remembered that. Um, and then the description, I'm just going to leave that blank. Next, location, English, default, English US. Finish. Okay, so now we have thin clients, my virtual machines. Next thing we're going to do is add a user name. We're going to set the password for the administrator account here. There's always one by default. Uh, I'm just going to put one in here. Okay, hit OK. I'm just going to check here. Okay, good. Okay, so that's actually all there is to setting up open the client. So what we're gonna do is we can go machine, reset, and now we're just gonna wait for a second here. And everything's working. There we okay. I, one thing I noticed is that it does fail to start the first time, so you just have to give it a quick reset. I don't know sure that's probably just a glitch or just me being impatient. Um, but anyways. As you can see, it's now loaded up right now. There we go. Now, if you're wondering, it's just made a nice big fat window, probably 1024 by 768, right 100 by 600, something like that. And we can see the OS, OS is booting. Um, while it's doing that, actually, I'm just going to show you some cool things you can do here. Uh, here's my virtual machine. If you open it up, you can click on devices, and you can add, and you can actually set stuff, like there's a monitor size. You can set, set the monitor size. Print server, you know, keyboard, if the keyboard's different, in this case German, because I think, yeah. And then you can also have the option for auto-login and the account. But in this situation, I don't need to do any of that. So I'm just going to cat fun there. Okay, there we go. It's still loading. Oh, yay! There we go. Okay, so, actually, oh, wow. Okay, it seems like the cam studio doesn't like me moving my mouse around. So, anyways, I'm going to log in here with administrator. And the password I'm going to use is what I used before. I'm going to set it to. And bam! We're black again. It's loading. Some beautiful gnome action going on here. There we go. Okay, so it's just a pretty, it's pretty basic here. Um, we got kind of a start bar. It's really, really basic. Um, Because this is the default administrator account, there's actually no options here. So I'm just gonna just gonna go back to here. Okay. Now the cool thing you can do is you can actually customize applications as well. So if we click applications for administrator, we're gonna add one in. And we're gonna add. Okay, we're gonna give this person Firefox English. Okay. And just because he feels really late, we're gonna go to give him next term. Okay. There we go. Now, all it's for that to take effect, just to log out. Unfortunately, because I'm using VirtualBox, it doesn't like the keyboard. It's not complying here. Anyway, it's going to log out here. There we go. Now we're going to log back in. And fortunately, this thing's going totally crazy. Okay, it's loading up. Oh, and there we go. We got our programs here. 
And it's as simple as double clicking. And bam, Firefox wants me to make it the default browser. <laughs> so now this is that's pretty much just a basic rundown of how it all works. Um, I have to say though, this is really powerful software. And the cool thing is, you can actually if you go to their website, they have lots of help and stuff like that. And they also have they have guides and stuff on doing dev stuff. So you can actually compile your own packages. It's all package based. Um, I think right now, you just go in here. Oh, yeah, just wait, actually. Okay, it's probably something I did wrong here. Anyways, you can get collect updates, and there's a bunch of cool stuff you can do. For example, OpenOffice, you can get, get OpenOffice, so you got VLC player. Audio works, it's, this is just like, te bomb. Like, it doesn't get much better than this. So, uh, good luck with your future endeavors with OpenThinkClient, and I hope you enjoyed my video.